Oh, piece of pie software presents <gasps> my newest game. Oh, Dragon Dreams, a taste of adventure. Yep, it's finally released. I say finally, but it's only been like two months since I started working on it. Not even that. I think I started working on it in like mid to early June. So like a month and a half is about as long as it took. And, oh hang on. It's probably the proudest I've ever been of a creation. Maybe even more than Boris Bloke 2. Like that took 13 years, so obviously there was a bit more than like a bit more pride in that having finished it after so long but this might be the highest quality thing I've ever made and I'm surprised it all went as well as it did as well um, this is also available for download right now so uh, links are in the description if you want in case you missed the advertisement video back in early August as in like August 2nd or 3rd um, so yeah Heavily inspired by the original Legend of Zelda, uh, but with a bit more like RPGness to it, I guess. And what else has it got? A randomizer. Ooh. Oh, I do love me some randomizedness. Uh, I'm planning to do two randomized runs after the full like main game. Yeah, it'll be fun. There's also some achievements if you want. Some of them are pretty hard to get, but... But yeah, let's go, shall we? Oh. And, uh... One of the musics in this was made by good old Mufgeb. As in Mad Finish Gamer. So that's cool. Let's go, shall we? The skies darken over the land as a strange dark energy emanates from the nearby temple grounds. Oh, right. Darkness, what an original story. Yeah, it's not supposed to be, it's a retro game. Inhabitants have begun vanishing and beasts have been increasing in number and ferocity. You, a traveller from another land, oh look, it's Drakaya, have arrived just in time to have the hopes of the remaining survivors fall unexpectedly into your hands. You have little experience in adventuring, and certainly did not plan on starting today. You have not come prepared. To make matters worse, the town's supplies are dwindling due to reduced trading in these dangerous times. You shall have to use whatever you can find to survive. Oh, it's a survival game with crafting. No, it doesn't have crafting, don't worry. However, your own experience and lack of preparedness will not deter you. Using little more than your bravery and determination, bloody Undertale note, to help the suffering people, f suffering people, you venture on for a taste of adventure. Oh, yeah, all right, get on with it. Oh, come on, bloody Star Wars. Oh, I could have skipped it, but no. Ah, oh, go away, tutorial. You're ruining the immersion. Because look at these immersive, realistic graphics. It is purposely retro. Of course, I'm not going to hide behind the aesthetic. Like, it's supposed to look like this. It is, but, you know, I'm also just not good at graphics. So, there's that as well. You know, we've got shops here. Gonna want to look after your equipment, upgrade you when you've got some ore. You've got some right here, can I have it? You know, the world is in danger, you could um chip in a bit. Magic may aid where weapons cannot. Use gems to expand your knowledge and buy some spells if you really want. Yeah. There's also potions which I never really use, but are probably good to use because one of the main worries I had towards the end of this game, and even now, it's not out yet at the time I'm recording this, is the difficulty. Because it is pretty hard. You can die quickly. But I don't know. I've got mixed feelings on it all. Like, it's supposed to be a challenge, but it's not supposed to be ridiculously hard. Bomb. Like, it's not like Zelda in that each heart is four hits, each heart is a hit. 
So you've only got three hits. Torren City. Yum. Look at this big map we've got to explore. Is it big? Not really. And what have we got here? A mossy sign. Treasures lie within walls. How do treasures lie in the first place? They're not alive. No. Oh. Well, we better not go this way. Let's go this way instead. Danger? Pfft, whatever. Hundrakaya. Yeah, ow. Yeah, you can go this way if you want. If you want to do like a swordless run or something. But it's inconvenient. So instead, let's go down here and get this sword. Ow, see? You see what I mean? It's hard. But the point of the game is patience. You've got to learn how the enemies move. You see? They go whoop, whoop. So go in and attack when it's safe. Don't be reckless. Ah! Oh, sorry. Right. Now we've got the sword. Look at all this stuff that we've got to find someday. Gold and gems. Yum. Yeah. Stuff. You get mostly money from grass and stuff, but you can get health as well, and mana, but yeah, right, oh yeah, you want some, easy, now these can be rather jerkish, as in these enemies are jerks, because they change direction suddenly. So, be careful. And you? Well, I can't deal with you right now, can I? What we got over here? Uh-oh. I want that down there. Don't you? We're gonna have to wait. See, it's not so hard once you get used to the enemies. Yom. How are we doing? Loads of dosh. Whatever. You're too slow. Some of the enemies might seem a bit easy, but don't worry. They can be a challenge. If you're reckless and summing. And something. Or if you're just not paying attention. I guess they're best to attack from the front. Because if they suddenly change direction, they're only going to go away from you instead. If you can, anyway. Because if you attack from behind or the side, you risk them turning around. Ah, how are we doing? Yeah, that's all pretty clear up there. you got exclamation points telling you where you've missed stuff. Oh, hello. Whatever, mate. This enemy can be a bit annoying until you've got a bit stronger. Got some health. But there we go. And here is our destination. The temple. But we need some keys. Some special keys. Uh, I guess I'll have to show you everything, won't I? I do insist playing this game on your own before watching, if you want to play it. Otherwise everything will be revealed. Whoa. Yum. Dreams vanquish nightmares. We'll have to keep that in mind, won't we? Uh oh. It's a knight. The enemy with the most health in the game. Buff. They kind of slow down before they charge. On, but they drop loads of dosh. Hmm, what have we got here? Torches that aren't lit? Zelda senses are tingling. I think you all know what to do there, but you can't do it right now. What have we got going on over here? 
Voila. Yum. Some things aren't well hidden, but the best stuff is, I guess. Go away. Oh! Don't walk into slimes. They may seem easy. But recklessness is deadly. You're too far away. Puff. Aren't they nice sound effects? I guess so. Spirit wood. Well, we can't go there, can we? Oh, I got some health. Yeah, that's blocked off. It's like teasing an area for the main game. This is sort of a, a sample game of a bigger game that I want to make later. Oh! Yum! Load of stuff. Look at all that dosh. And look at all these locked houses that I can't get in right now. It's not very fair, is it? There we go. Back to full health. Oh yeah, grass and pots and rocks and stuff. They don't respawn until you, like, close the game and reload. And if you die, it doesn't reset the game or anything, you just get sent to the nearest shrine. So you actually have to, like, close and reload for for the stuff to respawn. So there's no easy farming, although I guess there kind of is. So it doesn't take much effort to close and reopen. Oof. I want to go in there, but how are you supposed to get in? I guess you get there from the right side. What have we got over here since we're near the end? Oh, how do you get in? Bog off, mate. A slightly more dangerous slime. They shoot now. But they're still quite easy. A bunch of lava down there as well, which we can't do much about right now. So instead, let's explore this village area a little bit more, shall we? Go away, spirit. Yeah, I haven't got a key yet. Oh, but here's an open house with a letter in it. Go away. You're so annoying. Oh. Oh! Got my health back already from a lucky drop. That was rubbish. They're here, they're here. No, 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 no. I must get out now. Not safe anymore. Go use the hiding spot behind the church. Who writes like that? No one. But whatever. There's another knight over there. What's going on in there, though? Oh. No, this guy can just bog off. Oh, I've hurt him enough now, I might as well finish the job. Yum! The more dosh you get, the better. I don't know if I can be asked with this one, though. Fire and water hide the keys. Is that a hint? Yum. Yeah, stone chests usually, well, always contain items. And red chests have money. Ah. This must be the church that was mentioned in the letter. Hello. Hang on, there's a chest. That's more important. Another freaky. That's pretty freaky. And the only other save point in the game. The blue squares on the map. Hi. Oh, welcome, traveller. Pardon my appearance. I mourn for the lost villagers. Oh, she's crying. I'm quite proud of the, the animation work I put into this game. You know, it's nothing special, but it's more than I've ever done. I'm just proud of how this game turned out in general. It all went very well. The beasts came in the night, some were taken, but most, may they be at peace. If only I'd foreseen, I could have brought them here where evil dares not tread. If you happen across any survivors in your travels, please send them here, I can reward you. Look at all those chests. Yum. I could go for them. Let's go find some villagers, shall we? 
and get rewarded just as an adventurer deserves. That letter did say something about a secret behind the church, didn't it? Is this it? No. That's just very slow moving water. As in the water makes you move slowly. It's probably that chamber in there, isn't it? Do you want to know how to get in? Oh. Sneaky. I'll have that. Right, what have we got? A dark cave that we can't really do much about right now. Because there's a lot of danger in there. Don't do it. We're going to need some way to... What was that? Some way to light the torches before we do that. I'm afraid. Oh. Well, we've got a couple keys now. Should we open some of those doors? Which ones, though? Go away! I'm trying to adventure. Hmm. I don't actually remember what's in that one. Let's open this one. Two keys. It better be good. It's the sky crystal. Use at shrines. Walk between found shrines. That means we can go back to town quickly. Oh. So let's do that and see what we can get. There we go, we've got a new warp option now. Isn't it convenient? I love it. Right, look at all that dosh. You're going to want to buy, like if you're going for 100% you're going to need to buy 7 keys. Because there aren't enough in the world to open everything. Shall we get a sword upgrade so we can do more damage? I think we shall. That increased the damage by one. Yeah. And have we got enough money for either of these? No. So we're going to have to come back later. Unless I can just get two coins. Yes, I can. I kind of want the fire, though, but... Oh, what? I need another one. Why you? It's alright, the bush dropped some. Or the grass. Hello? Oh, no it didn't. What made the coin sound? There. Maybe I didn't pick up the coin last time. Sorry. Failing at me in game. There we go, Frost. The worst spell offensively, but it will help in some ways. Like this. Oh! Why does it have to spawn over there? That's a rare enemy. Golden Slime. What do you think it does when you kill it? God. I could kill it with Frost. Maybe not. But when I get over there, the, uh, the stuff it drops will be gone anyway. Well, that's a shame, isn't it? They're a rare spawn. Pretty much show up in every room. Ah. Who put that wall there? Yeah, I kill things faster now, which is nice. Quite a bit. I did have a little bit of trouble balancing that, but I think it's alright now. Ow! Don't die. I want to get the achievement for not dying. Yum! Another key. They're everywhere around here. I think I'll hold on to that one rather than open the other door. Might as well finish it. Oh! Oh, never mind. Did you hear that cry? Oh! Old Rikaya! <laughs> oh, I can get something else as well now. Do you want to know another little secret? I think you do. I think you bloody well do. Who's supposed to find this? It's not even marked on the map, because only stone chests are. Is it worth it? We can just buy more keys, but... Well, I'm going for 100%, so I'll have to get it eventually. Asshole. God. 
Wibbity bubbity. Right. Where shall we go? Oh yeah, they die in one. Shall we go down here? And hear the best music in the game. My favourite anyway. I want that. Uh oh. It's the singed reaches. Kind of anyway. I don't really want to be here yet because it's a bit difficult right now. Maybe. There's a chest down there. I don't remember what's in it. Yeah, I do actually. Look at all those chests. Oh! Mimics. Because every game needs mimics. And another one. Just when you thought you found all the treasures. Yum. That's one nice thing about the game being difficult. And you dying in only a few hits. It kind of makes every health upgrade feel all the more yummy. Because you know it will help immensely. God, come on. Oh! I'm rich. There's a lava slime. Oh dear. Ah! Greedy. Greed is your enemy. Let's go down here. There's a bastard in the lava there. It's a lurker. I can't get that dosh because it's in the lava. Singed reaches. Another place that's being teased. Yom. Don't you just love picking up loads of coins with that blingy sound? I ain't got any keys. There's a chest there. There's dodgy in here. Because there's bats that shoot lava, fire, and you. Do you see what I mean? Assholes. Get back here. Ow. More money that I can't get now. Ah. It's not fair. I want to open that chest. Look at all that stuff over there. There's a key. A special key. What do you think that's for? Yom. I do recommend killing as much as you can rather than running from enemies. But yeah, there's not much else I can do down here right now. There is some stuff I can get. Uh oh. Dodgy. Oh. Don't die before picking up all that. What a waste that would be. Well, you weren't doing much, were you? Some enemies can be kind of stun locked, like that. But some can't. I'll buy them. Yom. Go away. Oh, good. Now I can go get that chest. But wait. Might as well go up here first. And kill these bastards. It's like Dark Souls combat. Is it? Not really. Hmm. There's still an exclamation mark on that map. Yeah. I can't do that yet though. Because there's rocks in the way. That's a bit rubbish, that is. Ah. Ow. So instead, let's go back in and get that chest, shall we? What's that? Oh, he must have shot. I don't know. Maybe he bounced. Strange. Strange damage. 
So we go, I got lucky. I might have to investigate that. That seemed like a weird big enemy hitbox. The last thing I want is this game being compared to Dark Souls 2. What? I like that game. Not the hitboxes though. Jemba! From Varus Bloke 2. Emit soothing warmth, immune to lava. Yes. It usually does like two hearts a second. Or something. So you don't want to go swimming in that. But now, did you see that key in there? That key in that other room? Ow. Alright, the shots bounce off the walls in weird directions just to be annoying. Whatever. I ain't got all day. Let's see if we can get that key. There was also a mana upgrade, but you can't get that yet. We got a temple key. Get out of the way. Cheers. Attack to use. Unlocks temple gate. Oh no, I've used it now. No, I haven't. Now we can get out as well. Bye guys. I ain't got time for you. Alright, well that's almost everything down here. Let's get out of here. I kinda wanna go back to town. I think these usually have quite a good chance of dropping Dosh. Yeah. A higher chance of more Dosh anyway than some enemies. Because they're chests, they would. Oh, goodbye music. Whoop. Can't get that either. Bloody. Oh, hi. Been a while. You die even easier now. God, what losers. Those goblins. Goblins! In my game! Oh, yeah, we can also do this with Frost. Whoa! Oh, no. Good, it reached. And that is our first artifact. Feel more alive. Adds two hearts. Yummy. That's very tasty, that is. I don't have a key, so... Stuff. But should we look in here anyway? Oh, yeah, another random little thing. Those icons at the top right that show you what's equipped, you can click them if you don't want them to be there as much. If you think they're a bit in the way. Look at this. Look at this HUD customization. A bit dark in here, but luckily we've got sun spheres to light the place. What have we got? I wish I had a way to see in the dark properly, rather than having... Ow! See what they do? Rather than having to rely on lights. But instead we just have ore, don't we? No. But we haven't got a key right now, so that'll have to wait, won't it? Oh, why did I go in there? Now they're all back. Ow. Puff. I like the enemy death sound. Satisfying. Well, yeah, I kind of want to go back to town, especially now that I've seen yet another locked chest and we found our first goblin wizard. Ow. Ah! Okay, well, that was an accident, but fine. Back to town. Look at all that dosh. Let's get fire. We haven't got enough gems right now, so we can't. Yeah, those drop on RNG and I've been unlucky so far, so... That's another thing I was a bit uncertain about, but it should be fine, I reckon. But yeah, we'll buy some keys. I don't think we bought any, have we, so... I guess we'll buy three for now. Should we upgrade that again? It doesn't up our damage, but we attack faster. So yeah, we shall. Could I even? No, I can't do it again. 
Right then. Well, I think I might just end this part there. We've explored about half of the map, I guess. So next time we will continue the adventure. Maybe we'll finish it in the next part, I'm not sure. Might end up being three parts, but probably not. But, yeah, it might be two parts per playthrough, which I'm planning to do three of. The main playthrough and two different randomised ones. So yeah, thanks for watching. See you tomorrow for the next part. And again, if you want to play this game, links are in the video description for the free download. Bye! And thanks for checking it out if you do. I hope you enjoy.